Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate for this in this lesson how to import the cat model into hypermesh. So as we all know in the class, so to perform a CFD external flow simulation, there will be a still uh, a few platform of the software that we need to use to do conversion. Basically, using CAT it is the beginning of the of the step. So now I'm going to use Inventor just to construct a very simple model. So since it's an external flow, so I just do a very simple uh, error foil the shape so this we have done that before but if you take a look at it that might be nice to know how to construct it again so I'm having a circle and then putting the dimension yes I know some may be asking why it be 0 0.5 mm it is so small later I will explain why so maybe here we just follow together and then now I'm doing the constraint just now for the tangent and then now uh, for the straight horizontal and then I give the length of the whole geometry 1.5 so now it is fully constrained as you can see I finish sketch turn into the wheel that I feel comfortable to see fit wheel now I can do extrude given 1.5 change to symmetric now I can select the profile 1 and 2 yes that will be something like that like a teardrop okay then I will add a fillet on the tail so this is 2 mm and I'm going to lower down to become 0 0.05 and look at the preview if you're not satisfied with that you can adjust the value according to your preference but to me right now 0 0.05 will be good for the tail so i will click okay and take a look at the whole view now by having this geometry we are quite ready to export it by using the inventor fee, uh, feature that offer to this so there's no more modification Now take a look at this is hyper mesh the thing you may you may using other version but if you want to import geometry into hyper mesh from other CAD software basically we need to convert it into a step file so some may familiar what is step file some may not so we take a look at it this is how we can do a conversion in Inventor choosing export and select cat format now before you save the file I will encourage you to create a new folder first okay in the location that you feel comfortable right now i'm going to create a folder entitled lesson cfd external 
flow. Then I will save my file in this folder. Then I give a name for it. You can give the name that you prefer. Now at the drop down list of the save type, you need to choose step file. This is the step file. So look at the format, my file name, .stp. Save it. Now this, we successfully export the model. And basically this model in the inventor, you doesn't need it. But if you want it to do further modification in the future, you can also save it. But right now I will just straight enter into the hypermesh. So if you are first time open the hypermesh, you may have this user profile window pop up. If it doesn't, all you need to do is to click this icon. Then you will call out the user profiles window again. And over here, there will be a field selection on the application. So hypermesh, manufacturing solution, engineering solution, basic FEA. Now we are going to use hypermesh to do the meshing. I will choose default hypermesh. Okay. So if this is done, so go and select this icon called import server deck. Click the icon, basically they offer you four icon there besides just import the server deck. Okay, so the first will be import model, then import server deck, geometry, and connectors. In our case right now, we want to import the external CAD model. So we will choose import geometry. And the file type, they, it is many of it. But if you select auto detect, they will be good enough. So this is the row that I don't need. Because I have created a new folder that will be my old folder. So now look your file, the step file. Look for the step file that you have saved just now. So I have a folder. I believe you have yours. My folder. Lesson, CFT external flow, and that will be the step file I created just now. And open it. And click export. Now we import geometry into hypermesh and if you want to take a look at it in a more clearer view click the isometric view over there and now that is the geometry we have created by using inventor so you can uh, improve your view by select either with surface edge or without the surfa uh, surface edge so I will have that over here. So now this is the lesson. Basically, we can import the 3D CAD software into Hypermesh and then we can do the meshing or some preparation work before the CFT external flow. So over here, remember that to save your model. So now learn a bit before that so click, uh, pressing control scroll your mouse that will be given you zoom in zoom out pressing control using your left click then there will be rotation and then pressing control right click that will give you move there's some of the operation actually you can learn before you save the file okay so if you have familiar with that and now you can save it and remember that save in the same folder and then the file format will be hm represent hypermesh 
So give the name uh, as you prefer. I don't want to create any confusion, so I give the same name. So that will be the part one that we can learn how to import the geometry into the hypermesh. So part two, we will do some meshing in the hypermesh.